wanted to just build up your confidence because we're going to add in our routine, um, some walks. Oh yeah, you don't need your gloves on just yet if you don't want them, unless you're cold, and then in which case it's great. Um, so I wanted to build up kind of our confidence with walking, which I know sounds silly because we all walk here, but you know what I mean, as soon as you try and walk to music, it's like you just kind of go, whoop. Um, so I wanted to build up that and also that move of like finishing a walk, going into a grind or something, um, and doing it with a bit of confidence because I think that's the thing with this song for this term is it's not very dancey. She's quite growly and gravelly. It's got more of a storyline, and I would suggest that you could never say that perhaps she wasn't here all the time in life. But to me, whenever I look at Eartha Kitten, I listen to her music. There's a woman that's confident, right? So I think that's what I'm kind of hoping with some of the warm up and little combinations is that we just feel a bit more confident in if we make a mistake, well, that's okay. Um, and feel more confident in where we're going um, so that it then sort of flows into her sassy kind of attitude that we're taking up. So I've got the cheesiest song known to man, yes that we'll roll through and also one most people know which sometimes makes life easier too. So we're going to put together the walkings, the walkings, the walks that we did in first week and some of the grind moves um, and just put them together. Um, so they're all things that you kind of know and it's just going to be about putting them together and feeling yourself. So we're going to start with the deeper walk, the tracing to the knee walk with our right foot. So our right foot will come forward trace to our knee or thigh depending on arm length and flexibility roll the shoulder back so we're going to do four of these so this will be two three and four okay so see how our feet we've got the left foot forward and we want to parallel our feet to come into some grind moves um, so to do that the easiest way is to step the right foot forward and then because we've got right foot, we're going to push our hips to the right side and do a big bum or a half grind. So the one where I rest my hands on my thighs, I stick my bum to the side, push it to the ballet bars to the other side. So I'm never coming quite all the way up. And then we're going to go the other way. And then we're going to centre. Okay, so that's our first grind. Our second grind move, normal grind. Two to the right. It won't matter if you go a different way though, it won't knock anyone over. Two to the right, and then a big dip to the right. Okay, then two to the left. So we just straighten up, and then we're going to do a big bum dip. So like a squat, and then like you're using your ass to shove someone over, roll back up. Okay, so squat, ass, up. You need to remember that. Yep, so that's our first little section. Okay, and because I've been going right leg, we'll walk backwards so we don't crash into the mirrors with our right foot. So we're going to take a little backwards tap where I take my foot back, my shoulder kind of aims for the audience. I step back, my shoulder aims, and they're just little steps because remember you only took little steps to go forward. So you can't go further backwards than you went forward or you'll be out the window. Yeah, or the front row will squash the back row, which isn't very nice to your colleagues, is it? So that's our up, oh, and then we're going to finish with legs together, trace to the knees, and then like you're giving yourself a bum lift, pull your bum up. Yes. So that's our first little flow. Okay, so let's just try that again slowly, and then we'll do the music. So we go deeper walk for four. One, two, three. Four, half grind, right. So bum, bum. Stand up, two grinds to the right, and a squat and ass, or a dip. Two grinds to the left, squat. Step back with the right foot. So your shoulders sort of there. Two, three, four. Grab your knees, give yourself a bum lift. And then we're going to repeat. So let's try that with the music. <coughs> and then we'll try it with a bit of attitude. I wonder if you have that 
Sure, and it all goes wrong. Thank you. 
One, two, three, four. And it's quite quick. So you don't have time to get your head to angle. Okay, and then we're going to step out to the center again. Really nice. And now those bum dips that we did to the side, we're just going to go center. So if you are a bit dicky through the knees, you can always just go, and you don't want to bend too much, you can just go hands to knees like we did in that diva walk and up the backs of your thighs. So it might just be like a little hinge here. Or you can make a big hinge. Okay, but otherwise we'll go bend like we're in a squat. Back of the legs. So it's just what we did before, but with wider legs. So it's just a dip, grab your bum up. And just like we did in the warm up, we're gonna bump our hips to the side. But what I'd like to see is like a bump, centre, bump. Not a warm up sort of quite excitable sort of thing, a bit more of a bump, centre, bump, centre, centre, bump, centre. Okay, and then we're going to do our little shoulder walk backwards because I really like that. We're going to go one, two, three, four, and then the one grind that we haven't done yet is the kind of figure of eight. So two ways of if you don't like them and you remember doing these the other week and you're like, mm, not for me, you could do grinds, normal grinds, or something else. Otherwise, remember it's like I've imagined a figure of eight, a sideways eight or an infinity sign between my feet, and I'm drawing that sign with my pelvis. Or you could visualise your hip lifting up and behind you, up, behind. Um, one I've been doing in the chair class, and I realise it's actually really <coughs> for normal, is actually just going toe heel, toe heel, and it gives you the same little look. So I took me 10 years to cop onto that. If you just go toe heel with a bit of a pigeon toe on your feet, you get a similar little look as that big rebate. And I think for some people that slight inward slant. Even though it's a very bad dancer cue, it actually helps them with that. So you can try that too. I'm going to just toe heel, toe heel. Okay, we're going to do four. So that could be four grinds. They could be standing still for four counts and waiting. Or doing a figure of eight. Or it could be doing toe heel, toe heel, toe heel. And just giving yourself that little, sort of just a bit more of a rocking motion. Yeah, so like a little whoop, whoop, with your hips. Okay, so let's try that second section. So four sexy marrowing struts forward. So we go, best, two, three, four, feet apart. Dip, grab your bum, lift up. Big dramatic hips, so side, centre, and again, if you go a different way to me, it won't matter. Walk back. One, two, three, four, then four figure of eight. So I meant by four, I meant one both. One is one both sides, each side, I should say. So that's one. Two, three, four. We might get to repeat that. We'll see how we go. Okay, let's try all that from the top. And you can do the little clicks at the start where she's soul sistering. We are doing my soul sisters. Let me give you that soul sisters.
choreography because it's the Christine a bit. No one can dance to that. We had enough trouble when we did that Candyman routine and she was wobbling. It was like, oh dear, we just have to <laughs> pick it out. Um, oh yes, we've got time. So I'm going to do this once more as a whole group and then we're going to split you down the middle so you can spread out and, have, and not be crashing into the ballet bars at the back and have more travel room. Um, so if you're at home, I expect you to be teaching this to your children or something and splitting them into groups and making them compete against each other. I would love that.
do it again and you're not tired, also an option. Whew. And I won't get to it. Move it, move along. Move it, move along, go home, move. That's it.